will be lovely. That fresh country air. Mm, not fresh about country air in my experience. I just hope I can hold my brekkie down. Oh, you'll be all right. As oh, long as David likes it. What have I got for my lunch? Well, why don't you ask Nigella? But I bet it's cheese spread. Cheese spread? Again? <laughs> yeah, it's a speciality. What's this? Musical statues? Well, you're a fine one to talk. Like a zombie most mornings. Yeah, too right. I don't know whether to bring you a brew or blow you away with a sawn off shotgun. No, just a cup of tea will do, Ta. Right. Have a good day, babe. That's you. Mm. Mm. I'm only off to Bessie Street, not Vietnam. You all right? Fine. Well, go on, it's gone half past. Hmm? Do you want a top up, love? Uh, oh, no, Ta, Dennis. I'll finish this and get out your way. Hey. You can cut that right out, lady. You are not in the way and never could be in my house. But we're, uh, we're dead grateful for you letting us both stay, Rita. Oh, you're both welcome to stay as long as you need. Thanks. But we'll get our own place when we bring the baby home. It won't be fair. Be you doing all the hard work, love, not me. As for being woken up in the night, if I can sleep through his snoring, I can sleep through anything. I do not snore. Oh, yes, you do. And you dribble. It's like cuddling up to a water feature some night. Oh, now, you see, that's lovely. You've got a lovely smile. The best way to thank me, let me see that more often. I'll try. Mm. Go on, best be going. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Bye. See, see you later. Bye-bye, uh, kids. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think she's got a point about the baby. Uh -huh. At our age, it is not ideal living with that kind of disruption. They're in a mess. Of their own making, maybe. But that girl means the world to me. I'll not see her and Tommy homeless. Anna and Owen might have something to say. Oh, let them. Let them say what they want. I'll stand by Tina, come what may. I don't want to take advantage of Rita. I'll find a place for our own. It's sort of easy and on me. What are you doing, Case, in the joint? See if you can steal out else. Oh, leave it, Gary. There's nothing to be said. I suppose you're going to the hospital, aren't you, to see their child? Yeah. Well, you know what? You can stare at him all day, every day, but you never find a trace of you in his face because he's not yours and he never will be. I understand that you're upset. <laughs> that gets past you, does it, mate? But fighting's not going to help anyone. Neither is kicking Tina out of the flat. Look, whatever the rights and wrongs, you can't take away that kid's own. How dare you lay that at our door? You've taken his home away, nobody else. You've robbed him of his mum and his dad and his future. <sighs> sorry, I'm really sorry. If I had to try biting through my tongue, I'd have gone straight through it. It's all right. I could go work. I think we need to keep an eye on her. I know, but did you hear what Tommy just said then? Whatever the rights and wrongs. That means that he knows what she's doing's wrong. Oh. Yeah? If we can just get him on side. No, I wouldn't get your hopes up, darling. The only person who's going to change Tina's mind is herself. I'll see you later. Well, you must admit, it's a bit odd. Well, odd is a decidedly subjective notion, as I know better than most. How would you explain it, then? Explain what? Nothing. When we came down this morning, all the condiments were arranged in a line in size order. Oh, well, perhaps Anna did it. <laughs> Anna has many fine qualities, but anyone who's observed her cooking knows that order is not a must. How do you mean? Well, bacon, eggs, sausage, tomatoes, they land where they may. All is chaos and confusion. She is, if you like, the Jackson Pollock of the griddle. <laughs> no, it's not her doing. Well, then, who was? Ketchup fairy. Maybe it was a ghost. Well, if ghosts still exist, I'm sure they've got better things to do than to tamper with my crew. Well, that's where you're wrong. Poltergeist activity is characterised by low levels... It is not a poltergeist, not fairies, certainly not little green men. Right. Shouldn't you two be going to work? Right. What, are you supposed to be on the switch? Got three minutes left yet. There's more than three minutes' worth left in there. Two minutes' worth will be over your head if you don't do one. It's a bit hard, wasn't it? He's been nervous. He spends most of his working day asleep in lay -bys. <sighs> Just having one of those days, love. Yeah? Well, quite a few of those lately. I'm not still fretting over... Um... No, I'm fretting over fretting, if you must know. Meeting that little lad just made me realise what it is you do and how selfish I've been. Yeah, well, you can't help how you feel sometimes. Mm. 
What I'm going to try, I'm going to sort out my head. I'm going to find a peace of mind if it flaming kills me. Yeah. Should have gone back to bed, love. You've hardly slept a wink. How do you know I was awake? Because you kept asking if I was. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not think to put them glasses through the dishwasher last night? No, I didn't. Did you? Oh, no, you're probably busy, weren't you? Uh, sorry, what is that clear that you do, Mum? I work my fingers to the bone in that bar. Oh, you're Joe more like. Gossiping with a grey mafia and throwing back vodka and tonics doesn't constitute a day's graft. You're a flaming liability. Mum, come back. Oh. Well, that's older. <sighs> she didn't deserve that. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. The slightest thing just sets me off. It, it's like everything's just... No, this is down to Deb, isn't it? No, I just probably need a kip, you're right. I'll be fine. Well, someone must have arranged those bottles. Or something. I refuse to ascribe supernatural properties to perfectly explicable phenomena. Ah, there are more things in heaven and earth, Roy. Well, earth is composed of a core of liquid and solid iron, a mantle of ultramafic rock, a crust of complex mineral compounds, and an atmosphere of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases, while heaven exists only in the minds of those unable to cope with their own mortality. The keys were on the inventory, mate. You can't get yeah, past it. add up, because if she had them in there, she would have got out, so there's got to be another explanation, because this does not make any logical sense. Ah, now, you, you do right to cleave to logic, Dev. People are all too keen to look for the easy answers, however improbable. It's what are the pertinent facts? The pub keys were found in Sinita's drawer. They did an inventory of her stuff when they brought her in. The keys were on the inventory. End of. Pub keys? I assume so. I assume so. It's, it's no more than a hypothesis. Well, I suppose, but... Well, then you should at least entertain devs for a moment. If Sunita's keys were not the rover's keys, and this inventory does not explicitly state that they were the rover's keys, ergo... They weren't the rover's keys? They were not the rover's keys, and when the real arsonist planted the pub keys, he must have swapped them for the ones on the inventory. It's a hell of an assumption. You, you, you must find a way to test it. Yeah, there must be somebody in the hospital that saw them. You are a genius, Roy. Oh, well, glad to be of help. I'm oh, sorry, Poirot. I reckon you've been anything but. I want to feel like I'm an holiday, though, not remand. It were like strange ways with sheep. <sighs> no, that's as high as I can go. <sighs> not as sorry as I am, mate. Oh, no good. Everything half decent in our price range is booked up for months. Left it too late. Is this the night away? Was. But you don't have to go away anyway. You can just have a nice meal somewhere. Oh, we can go for a meal any time. I want this to be different, special. <sighs> Fat chance on my budget. <sighs> right. Look, I can't do this here. I'm at work. Look, please, mate, I just want to ask you one question. Do you agree with what Tina's doing? See, I knew it. You know this is wrong. I never said that. Well, you didn't have to. It was written all over your face this morning. So please, if you love her, then you'll tell her what she needs to hear, not what she wants to. It's her choice. And if I want to be with her, then I've got to accept it. All right, how would you feel if Tina was going through this like Izzy? Eh? Probably the same as you, all right? I I'm sorry. <sighs> Tina comes first, second and third for me. But whatever decision she makes, I've got to stand behind her. Any joy? She's still not talking to me. Oh, she loves playing the martyr. She's not really hurt, you know. Her skin's that thick, I'm amazed. She's not got tusks. Mm. <laughs> I just want things to quiet down. I want dull, predictable. Yeah, well, once we settle in here, it'll seem like the last two years never happened. Mm. <laughs> well, hi, Dev. What can I get you, mate? I know for a drink. I just thought I'd let you know uh, I think I'm onto something. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't know why I never saw this before, but listen to me. The keys on the infantry were not the pub keys. I said, we last and he must have swapped them. You think so? Well, explains everything, doesn't it? Huh? So, uh, as soon as Mary comes back, I'm going to get to mind the kids, and then we go to the police, and it might take a while. Well, why don't you just ring him? I want to get fobbed off again by some junior officer. Like this, this is going straight to the top, and I will not be ignored. Well, uh, hold on a minute, mate. I mean, what are you going to say? Just uh, 
Then again, to uh, talk to the uh, hospital staff again. But properly this time, not cut corners. Well, I mean, why would they want to cut corners? Yeah, because they already had their answers, didn't they? I mean, truth didn't fit. It was inconvenient. Right, but we need to find out who else had access to Sunita's room. And then that would lead us to the real culprit. <laughs> may, may, may. You're clutching at straws here. I mean, the police aren't going to reopen a case because of some wild theory. You know, they're going to laugh you out of the station. Yeah. And I'm not going to go away until I get an answer. OK, right. If you're determined to do this, then I'm going to come to the station with you. No, there's no need. Yep, yeah, no, there is. I mean, you're all het up. I don't want you crashing your motor, so I'll drive. That way you can concentrate on what you're going to say. Listen, you really don't need to do yeah, this. Yeah, no. It's OK. You need some moral support. Just give me a call when you're ready to go, yeah? Appreciate it. There was a fight outside the school gate, sir. Teacher was sorting it out when I arrived. Who did this? It's not so much the who as the why. They were saying things about Mum. We told them she was innocent, like you said. But they just laughed at us. Mom. No, you're all right, and uh, you're safe, and you're here, and it won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. The teacher was very concerned about all of this. I, I, I think things are getting out of hand. There are too many of them, Dad. I'm sorry. No. No, you don't ever have to say you're sorry, either of you. OK? Ever. Come here. Come here. Perhaps we should talk about this at home. I'm sorry. It's good of you to go to the police with Dev. Oh, someone's going to have to be there. Pick up the pieces. I mean, they won't give him the time of day. Well, I don't know. And maybe his story's not as far-fetched as you reckon. What? What if the culprit is still out there? He seems so convinced, so certain. Uh, it's called denial. Oh, I don't know. The more I listen to what he's saying and the more I think the police might be wrong, I'm, maybe he's got a point. I just can't take this much longer. There's, there just seems to be no end to it. There will be, Dan. There will be. It'll all be over soon. I promise you. Mmm. Afternoon cake and a hunky delivery man could get used to this. Yeah, well, you seemed a bit down in the mouth earlier. And anyway, that means I'm not doing my job properly. Mm, what job's that? Keeping you happy. Firefighting must seem a doddle next to that. I know I'm a moody cow. I was going to poke my head around earlier, but I've only just turned it back on after this morning. Well, Steve, you shouldn't have really got... Steve, Eileen was just there to say she's sorry about that. Generally, it's the dummy's lips that move in a venture of the quest act. Sorry. But what do you want, blood? I'll leave you, OK, to kiss and make up. See you later. Cheers, Steve. Yeah. Custard slice? Yes. My favourite. Subtle. You're forgiven. Where are you going, Brian? I don't require a taxi, yeah. I overheard you in the cafe this morning. Oh, it's all right, we've made up now. And I was referring to a chat with Paul. If you're looking for peace of mind, Julie has no end of uh, self-help literature. Oh, thanks, but it's not really my... No, I, too, was a naysayer at first, but uh, being with Julie has uh, taught me the importance of valuing oneself. I mean, I look in the mirror and see a bigger man than I used to. Join the club. And we can't help our metabolism, can we? I was referring to my psyche, not my physique. So, I'll, I'll, anyway, I'll leave you with these. Uh, hope you find them useful. Thanks, that's very kind of you. <laughs> God's wallop. There's nothing a life's coach can teach me. You're looking at a success. You've got a big dollop of custard on your chest. Have I? <sighs> They're on their computer. Thank you. Now, could you watch them for a while, please, because I need to get to the police. I'm sorry, but I don't think you do. What? I, I lost my father when I was small. I still feel the pain now. Mary, I'm really sorry for your loss, but I have... They need to grieve. And they need you to show them how, to help them through it. But instead, you become obsessed with proving Sunita's innocence, and they are taking their cue from that and suffering because of it. Is that right? People who stand out tend to get bullied, I know. And by following your lead, 
They are standing out and suffering because of it. I'm sure Sunita would prefer that you attended to the children's needs rather than chasing this lost cause. Now, Mary, it's the children that I'm doing this for. Right, so they can hold their heads up and they can be proud of their mother's memory and not be ashamed of it. I understand that. No, but do you? Do you really know what it must, must feel like to hear that your mother's been called a murderer? No. So if I can clear her name, surely that's worth fighting for. But it's not you doing the fighting, is it? It's Addie and Asha. So you think I should just drop this now? Hmm? I think you should move on and focus on your beautiful children and their future. I'll take them to the cinema, give you some time to think. Or go to the police, whatever you decide. I just wish I knew what were behind all these odd happenings. It's, it's very unnerving. Told you, think you've got a ghost. Mm. Things going bump in the night, are they? They are at mine, two or three times if he looks in. <laughs> I don't believe that you and your mockery were invited into this conversation. Uh, well, I'm not mocking anything but. In fact, come to mention it, I did feel a distinct chill over my bacon and egg barn this morning, and it didn't just come from you. No, I think you might have a presence there. So you reckon it's really haunted? No, it is not. I'm sure we'll find a perfectly innocent explanation for what's happened. Either that or a severed head in your fridge. Uh, rum and coke, please, Gloria. You're knocking about this afternoon, aren't you? Why don't you just take it down and stick a straw in it? I've only had a couple. A couple? And somebody failed their maths O level. What's up? Nothing, I'm fine. Oh, come on, we've danced this little two step too many times. What's bugging you? Find a mirror and you'll have your answer. I can't remember the last time I went to the pictures. There was something with Harrison Ford in it, I recall. Can you have popcorn? I have a perfect mix. Oh, we'll decide when we get to the cinema. Come on. David's been really good to me. I just want to do something nice for him. He deserves it. Yeah, you both do. Could be a while before you get a chance to go away again. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm good. Oh, don't be. Find yourself a cottage, somewhere you like. Don't worry about the money. I'll chip in the extra cash. Nick, I can't do that. You can. <sighs> Thank you. So you couldn't get through to Tommy then? No, but I was spot on. He uh, doesn't agree with what she's doing. He's good as said it. Well, then how can you just stand by? Well, it's like, you know, that saying in the army, isn't it? My country, right or wrong. In this case, it's Tina. Hey, hiya. Hey, uh, can I get you anything, darling? Oh, I'm all right, darling. I just want to go. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. What's up? It's like... I've been doing a lot of thinking and... Now we've got over the shock, I think we've got to make plans. Getting Jake back's the most important thing. Well, we've got the solicitors on it. What more do you want? I want you to move back in with me. It, it don't mean that we're getting back together. I, I can't even think about that right now. So why, why, why do we...? Because if we're fighting Tina in the courts, chances are the baby's going to go to the most settled home. So, as far as the rest of the world's concerned, we've got to be Mr and Mrs Stability. Right, so I'd be keeping in the spare room? I know. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Whatever it takes. I swear, he knows who I am. As soon as I put him down, his eyes followed me. I'm glad he's getting stronger. Mm. I wish you could say the same. I mean, the fight's barely begun and I'm knackered. That's before I start back at work. Oh. You're going back to the pub already? Well, what choice have I got? I mean, I might have to pay for lawyers. We'll manage somehow. Why don't you go over and lie down, eh? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> it's his face this morning, you know. I never want to do this to her. But you have. And you're going to have to find a way to live with it. Because if this goes to court, they'll play on any vulnerability they can find. Come on, love, go and get your head down. Go on. She doesn't look right. Well, she's so stressed. Who can blame her? Tommy, are you sure you're not making a terrible mistake? Not really, no. Gary asked me if I agree with what she's done. 
couldn't answer him. But I can't let her down again. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Does neither of you think she's doing the right thing? Well, be that as it may. We're the ones who have to look out for her. But you're not. You're shutting your eyes. If ever there was a case of blind loyalty, this is it. And it'll do Tina no favours at all. Just uh, wondering if you want to go to the cop shop, mate. Well, that's a sixty-four thousand dollar question, my friend. You, what, you have any second thoughts? No, not me. No, not me. Well, everyone else around me is so desperate for me to drop this thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they're your friends, so they want what's best for you. You know, how can it be best for me? What have the mother of my children damned by a lie? But I'm certain I'm getting Stella on board at least. Uh, has she said anything? Um, just wants to put the fire behind her, you know, and all oh, this constant raking over things is really doing her head in. I mean, it's got to stop me. And I understand. I do, but if I could just get her on board, you know, a victim, then, then, then police, they would have to listen. They would have to listen to this. And then we could, uh, we could all, you know, just get to the truth. We could get to the truth and lay it to rest. Coronation Street's back in half an hour.